What is up? Need for Speed Racers. It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. I'm here today with the official announcement of the Copium Tournament. I am super excited for this, and if you are watching this, you need to be a part of it. How you get involved is up to you. You can just be a spectator and watch the streams. You can be a racer and you can participate. You can plug this video, get people hyped, tell people they need to enter. You can donate and it's going towards a great cause. We've got a lot of different ways for people to plug in and I want everybody that is watching this, that hears about this, to be a part of it. It is a passion project of mine in association with Neil Kappa. We both have a heart for this and I've got a lot of people that are backing me within the Corn Nut crew. Honestly, too many to name and it's gonna be very special. My goals for this are I want us to have the biggest tournament that Need for Speed Unbound has ever have. I want us to raise the most money for an orphanage that the vessel of Need for Speed Unbound is ever going to raise. And I want to have the most participation of any tournament that the game has ever seen so far and maybe ever will. We have a $500 prize pool, which I know for certain is the biggest prize pool that's ever been given out for a Need for Speed Unbound tournament. And that is up for grabs for anybody that wants to participate. There's no cost for entry. I'm putting this up myself. I've got a couple other people that are helping me back this, so that way we've got a really good prize pool for the racers. And it's going to be very, very special. The tournament starts on Friday, August 11th, and it's going to run for three consecutive weekends. You'll see on the screen right here, Copium Tournament Charity Event, August 11th through the 27th. I want to have it wrapped up, the finals on the 27th of August. We are going to pause my typical Copium series to run this tournament. We are raising money during this tournament for the Wichita Children's Home. That is a local orphanage to me that has a lot of kids that are in need. Kids without parents, kids that have their parents displaced that might be locked up or just gone out of their lives. If I myself and my crew and you can help some kids, that's what I want to do. I always say it is not a me, it is a we. And we are going to do something for more than just the Need for Speed community. We are going to do something for some kids and help them out. I picked a charity that's close to me so I can walk right down the street, hand them a check and say, hey, here's what we raised while we were racing for you guys. And I think that'll be really special. So the tournament itself is comprised of three weekends, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The team composition is comprised of three racers. The way it is designed is so that anyone can be a part of this regardless of your location and time zone. I am setting aside blocks of time every weekend on Friday evenings for hours, Saturday in the morning and in the evening, Sunday in the morning and in the evening. So no matter what time zone you're in, I will be streaming during hopefully your race and I will hopefully be the one officiating your race. So that way your race can be on stream and we can raise some money for these kids. The $500 prize pool is getting handed out to the first, second and third place teams. We're going to make sure these guys are getting stacked and it's going to be awesome. In addition to that, during the tournament, if you donate during one of the three weekends, you will get entered. So if you donate on weekend one, that's an entry. If you donate on weekend two, that's a second entry. And if you donate on the third weekend, the finals weekend, that is a third entry. During the last day of the finals, I'm gonna be doing giveaways. I'm gonna give away a copy of Crew Motorfest, Forza Motorsport, and, um, excuse me, uh, the Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown as well, and maybe a couple additional copies of those games. And that's just a commitment for me to give us some incentive for people to donate. I don't care if you donate a single dollar or a thousand dollars. Whatever you donate is going towards a good cause and that'll get you in the running. You can't get any more than three entries, but at the end of the day, donate what you can, when you can, and I'll make sure that you would get you entered. It's gonna be very special and I really want this to be successful. And so with your help, I know we can do that. The format for this, like I said, is three racers. It is blacklist racing. Some of you guys know what that is. Some of you may not. It's something we did on my channel months ago and it's a lot of fun but the format for that is crashes thrashes bumping people out of checkpoints whatever that's on the table it avoids crying it avoids somebody coming to me like oh there was desync and he hit me out of a checkpoint no 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 no. win your race you're in 
It's single elimination. So if your team gets eliminated in the first round, that's it, you're out. Sorry. But we're running this through and it's gonna be just like March Madness in the US for basketball. Like single elimination teams go through the finals and it's just a huge, huge tournament. I'm gonna, I have the rules right in front of me. I'm gonna read those to you and kind of gloss over them so that way we're all on the same page. But at the end of the day, for you to participate, join my Discord. I've got a sign up page right there. You put your name and your two other teammates, if you're the team captain, or find your team captain, get them to put your guys in, get your team name, and you're registered. That's it. Cost you nothing. The matches themselves, so team A versus team B, they are 1v1 matches for each racer. So if each racer has three people on each one, if a racer can only run on Friday nights and the two other guys can run on Saturday, they propose that to the other team. They say, hey, yeah, I've got somebody who can run on Friday. I got a couple other guys that can run on Saturday. That team says, yeah, we got somebody who can run Friday night. You know, we'll make it work. That's what the one V one is important. So that way it gives flexibility to the scheduling. Racer A or racer one from team A races that anybody from team B, once those guys face off against each other, they can no longer race against that team during that match. So we're not going to have any one-hit wonders. We're not going to have anybody carrying the teams. You've got to have a team composition. So if you have a ringer, that's great, but you still need to have a team comp. The matches themselves of the 1v1s is very straightforward. It's first to two points. Well, how do you get a point? Win a playlist. So if I am versing you, I'll pick my playlist, and I'll come to the table with it and say, hey, we're running S. You pick any playlist you want in any class you want, and we'll run that one. So we'll run mine. We'll run yours. If I win both playlists, we got two points, we're done. Our 1v1 match is over, my team will accumulate one point. First team to get two points wins the overall battle between the two teams, and the team with two points progresses. It's pretty straightforward. So ideally, the way it is, it's flexibility, it's single elimination, but it encourages teams to participate with as many people as they have on there. I don't want the same two guys racing everything, and if it goes to a stalemate, there will be a tiebreaker. Those tiebreakers will be set up by myself. I will have those predetermined, and I will release them as they are needed, so that way, not anybody can just go practice the tiebreaker match and be cracked on it. It's gonna be fun. Let me dig into the actual rules for you so I'm not rambling, but at the end of the day, it's, it's gonna be really sweet, and all these will be posted in the Discord, so if you have any questions, they'll be there. First and foremost, the first rule is, this is for fun and it's for kids, so keep it civil, keep it positive, we're all friends here. I myself am gonna try to ref every match that I can, so if you guys can schedule your matches during the blocks that I have set aside, which will be in the sign up, that'll allow me to put that on stream and it creates hype for the tournament. 1v1 battles will be the format until the finals. Each member of the team may only race the opposing team one time per match. So once you've raced the other team, you're done. You gotta have your other teammates carry you. Teams must have a ref from the Discord in your race to validate it. I can be that ref or someone else if I'm not available. Racing playlists only, no drift events. So racing for points, I don't care if you pick an endurance race and it's a single one of, or if you pick a three race playlist. Rumble's on the table, so go for it boys, ladies. Racing rules. Blacklist rules. So bumping, crashing, takedowns, aggressive drivings are all permitted, encouraged, do what you do. If you get spun out or crashed out of a turn, that's a good move by your opponent. Congrats to them for a solid takedown. So no crying. If you get bumped out of a checkpoint, they got you good. Get them back. There will be no protests or crying about this subject. I won't hear about it. So don't cry about it if you get bumped. Crash them back. Get into it. That's how we do it on stream. It's fun and it takes away from Oh, he didn't race me clean. No, he doesn't have to race you clean, so be ready. Clean racing can still happen, but it's not mandatory. With everything on the table, this will simply make desyncs and bits of lag just part of the experience, and so we run with that. We got people all over the world, so that's going to happen. Cars. Any car can be used for any playlist. However, the build must be something that can be recreated by anyone right now. So no glitched cars from a previous volume that got nerfed down to a different class that they shouldn't be in. If you run a build, I need to be able to copy that build. I need to be able to make a build video on that and everybody can recreate it. 
That being said, cheese cars are on the table. If you've got a 195 RSR tuned up to A-Class and you've got that locked in for millionaire drive, run it. If you've got a cheesed out Testarossa in B-Class that's got a lot of power, run it. Run anything you want, you guys. Bring your best and go win. That's what this is about. It's going to be a lot of fun. Disconnects. If someone disconnects at any point during the race, the victory goes to the other team. The other team may agree to rerun the race, but they do not have to. That is not mandatory. It is encouraged to keep good sport, but if you disconnect, sucks. I'm sorry that happened, but we're not going to have somebody alt f 4 because they rage quit because they're behind and then be like, oh, I got disconnected. No, no, no. Victory automatically goes to the other team. But if it's a legit disconnect, maybe we can rerun that. But that's at the discretion of the other team. If they want to take the easy dub or if they want to rerun it, that's up to them. I would like to see that. I would like to see good sportsmanship, but that rule in place really makes it very simple for all of us. All right. Mods. Visual mods are okay. Our man Hex has got crazy cars, missing bumpers and taillights and everything under the sun. I don't have a problem with that. Shoot, if you got mods and you have some of the DLC cars and you didn't pay for them, fine. I've got some of those myself. But no performance mods are permitted, period. This is mostly for PC players, but you guys know who you are and you know what I'm talking about if you know what mods these are. This is a legit tournament. It's for the kids. Myself and the officials, we've got thousands of hours in the game. We're going to know if something doesn't look right. So don't get caught in the red because I'll flame you. I'll ban you from my tournament and I will make it very clear to the world that you're a piece of shit for trying to take advantage of a charity stream orphanage tournament. Nobody be a piece of shit. It's that simple. We move along. Streaming, please. If you are a streamer, stream your race. If you are a content creator, hype this up. If you are someone that wants to be a part of this, get involved. If you are part of any kind of social media, put this out there to people. Let people know. If you want resources, like you want the screen grab that's right here, if you want more information so you can make a post on it on Facebook or whatever, do it. I'm with it. Send this and shout this to everyone in the hills, everyone in the cities. Let's make this be the most successful Unbound tournament ever, and you guys can help with that. So even if you're not participating as a racer, you can still hype it up. Tune into the streams. Support the racers. GG's to everybody. W's in the chat. Oof if somebody crashes. Boop them in the head if somebody wrecks somebody else. Let's go. It's going to be fun. So send it on social media. Stream it if you can. Make videos on it. Bring attention to this, you guys, because I want it. The overall format. Teams are going to consist of three people. No racer can be on two teams. So once you're locked into a team, that's it. If your team loses a battle, your team's done. Game over. That's it. A battle is team versus team. A match is 1v1 racer versus racer. Two match points con concludes a battle win. So if you have two guys on your team and they both race and they win both their races or both of their little matches, that's it. You move on. Each 1v1 playlist, a match, is worth one point to the winner. Each racer picks one playlist. Any playlist, no drift events, like I said. If one person wins both playlists, they've won the, their match. If there's a tie, a tiebreaker playlist will be raced, predetermined prior to the weekend by staff. The first team to win two matches wins the battle. Each racer may only do one match per battle. Once the racer is run, they're done for that battle. This will prevent a single racer from carrying the whole team. There's a chance your third racer may not get a chance to race, and if they don't, I would encourage you to let them race in the next match. If I see that there's a team that is having two people race every time and their third guy really doesn't race, if I see that happen twice, I'm going to strong arm that team into making sure that other guy races first in that third battle. So don't take advantage of my system or I'll make sure that uh, I go in there and I put some pressure on you guys. It's my tournament. I'll do it as I see fit. I want all three people in these teams to be racing enough said team captains are going to assist in scheduling the match with the other team ideally team captains are going to find out when their racers can run so if i'm a captain i talk to my other guys hey when can you guys run okay you're available on saturday okay you're available on sunday cool i got you guys i'm going to run on friday that's i got availability there or saturday 
I'll hit up the other team and be like, hey, I've got a guy that can race Friday. I got a guy on Saturday. I got a guy on Sunday. Can any of you guys make time during that time? Yeah, we can do stream block in the morning and stream block in the evening on Saturday. Can you guys do that? You work it together. Keep the names of your racers vague. I don't want the other team to know who they're about to race. I like the, mysteri the mystery of that. That's kind of fits into the copium thing where I don't reveal times or splits till the end. It's kind of that same vibe. The goal is to get your team battle done over the course of the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Because matches can be spread out over the course of a weekend, like we only need 1v1s, it should be pretty easy to do, you guys. No battle can be spread out over multiple weekends. So weekend one, which starts on the 11th, you need to get your matches knocked out and completed. When both racers are ready, you guys are going to communicate that to myself in Discord and say, hey, the team captain will be like, hey, I've got a guy ready. The other team will be like, yeah, we're ready. Well, cool, I'll put you in the queue. And what I'll do is I'll just leave the lobby after I'm done refing whatever match I'm in. You guys will join on me, and I'll go officiate your race. We'll put it on stream, we'll hype it up to the world, and we'll move along. And so ideally, during my stream blocks, I'll just be specking matches. Like, it'll be three people in a race, party only. And if I'm in front of you guys, I'll pull off to the side. That's just how it works. And then I'll chase you guys and try to get the action on stream. And people will be able to watch this and hype it up. And... So it's going to be chaos. It'll be kind of like ESPN does where they're tuning into multiple games at the same time because each match is a 1v1, but that doesn't conclude the whole battle. I'll watch this match of this team, match of this team, match of this team, back around to the second match of this team, and we'll just get it going. And whenever you guys are ready, whenever two racers are online, let me know. I'll put you in the queue, and I will do everything I can to get it done quickly and respect everyone's time. If it is a time constraint, we will make sure that some of the other officials that are in the Discord can officiate that match to make sure you guys get done and you're not waiting very long. Guys, this is a, for a great cause. We're raising money for the Wichita Children's Home local orphanage. The purpose of the stream is for that. So be respectful, have fun with this. We're hosting the biggest tournament that's ever been done in the game. We're doing it in a format that is kind of complex, but it's very fun. Flow with me, flex with me, work with me, and I'll make sure that I take care of you guys to the best capacity that I can. First and foremost, have fun. So to sum it all up, get it on a team or find people to be on your team. Three people. Register. Do that via the Discord. It's very easy. Pick the time blocks that you guys are available You'll know, I'll have brackets, you'll know what team you're going against. Guys, just schedule yourselves the best you can. Let me know once you've got it scheduled and locked in, and I'll just set up a schedule, and we're going to do the best we can to run these through. It's going to be a lot of fun. During all the streams, if you're not participating, try to tune in and watch. Create some hype for this. During those streams, every dollar that is raised, I'm going to have a special PayPal account set up, a special link for that. It's not going to go to my normal account like I would typically would for donations. And every dollar that's raised, I'm going to take that money and just go write a check for the Wichita Children's Home. It's going to be very special. And with that set up that way, it's very easy for me to keep track of who's donating. And if you donate, I'll make sure that we get you an entry. And if you donate in the second weekend, I'll make sure we get you an entry. And then the third weekend, get you that third entry. Gives you three opportunities to be in the, uh, the giveaway for the game copies and just to be a part of what's going on here. It's going to be very cool. Thank you, guys. For listening to me for tuning into this get a team get plugged in start developing strategies start practicing start having fun i've got discord set up for people that are singles if you don't know anybody that plays the game join the discord put in there hey i'm looking for a team if you want to be on a team i'll make sure you get on a team it's that simple i'll find somebody for you to race with i'll pull people out of the woodwork be like yo i got this guy he doesn't have a team you guys are racing. Well, we weren't planning on I don't care. You're racing. He needs a team. He needs teammates. Because it's single elimination, there's going to be some upsets. Just because we're going to have some cracked racers in here does not mean that they're guaranteed to win. If one of them has a mistake and they crash out in the first round and the other team takes their playlist and their own playlist, that match is done. Let's go. So do not be discouraged. Be encouraged. And even if you're like, gosh, we can't hold a candle to these guys, still participate. Be part of the biggest tournament that Unbound's going to host. Be part of the biggest 
giveaway stream for charity that is ever going to be hosted in Unbound. Be part of this. Plugging in is the victory. Even if you get eliminated in the first round, you showed up and you contributed to the whole. And that's what makes this successful. So even if you're casual, even if you're new to the game, get in here. It's going to be a lot of fun and I need you guys to participate. Thank you very much for watching this. Tell everybody, get excited. We've got about a week before this thing starts kicking off. So it's a short period of time to put your teams together, but it's long enough for you guys to make it work. I have faith. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the Copium Tournament, either in chat, on track, or just in the donations. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.